Hello guys, it's I, Adam, and this is a comparison video between the Joby Gorillapod SLR Zoom and the 3K, the Joby Gorillapod 3K. So let's check it out and see what the differences are and which one you would prefer to get. Don't forget, if you want to look at these, check the links in the description down below if you want to look at them, or even if you're inclined to purchase them, please look down there, it may help you, and probably there is other links there for related things if you want to get other accessories. So yeah, let's get on to the rest of the video. All right, so this is the SLR Zoom. I've had this for a long time. It has been a work workhorse of mine. These two are almost the same. This is the 3K and you know, they're same form factor, just different colors. This is the older version, the older line. And this is the 3K, which is their newer line going on. And you can tell there's a difference between the, the two colors. This is the older look. This is the black and red, which just looks better which is a pro for this, um, but this guy is gonna be cheaper. It's gonna be probably, it depends on where you get it, but it could be a lot cheaper sometimes. Thing is, it is now a discontinued line, but you can still find it out there because people are still have, still have and still sell it. But this is the one going forward. And honestly, one of the cons about this one is that I think it's either because I've used it for a while, um, but the legs are not as stiff. I don't remember if they were ever that stiff, but using this one, this one has been pretty stiff. I think it's just slightly better plastic. They're the same um, ball heads up on here. They're just different colors and they move the same way. You turn this knob and it turns like that, but it'll also loosen the uh, top part. They both have the quick release plates with the same. You could honestly just interchange them if you want. They have the little screw at the bottom right here so you could screw it into your camera. Um, and this is, I don't think you could put it flat with your camera. This is what they kind of notice if you have this, it might not be exactly flat. That's just a random thing if you want to lay your camera around, um, but that could be useful. But honestly, they're almost the same. The biggest thing is just the price difference. Yeah, if you could find this, I would actually just recommend getting this one. But if you want to have kind of like the look, the more pro look, like the 5K, which is their more expensive one, that guy is beefy, which you could check out if you really want to in the link description down below. But this guy, honestly, this size is a good form factor. They're the same size. And the big thing about them is the weight. That's something you wanna know. So they're the same weight. They take the same amount of weight. It's 6.6 .6 pounds. Um, and they have another one in their uh, K line, which is the 1K, but that takes even less, I think 3.3. So honestly, this is a good um, weight size and price for, the, uh, for what you'd get because 3.3 pounds is not a lot. If you're gonna use this SLR, um, a DSLR, I mean, or a mirrorless. Mirrorless, you could probably get away with a 3.5, but if you get a lens combination with that, these could definitely take the weight. The 3.5 is not really, because you're gonna have to measure it and find out. It's better to go with the one with more weight. So 6.6 .6 pounds is a good place to put it. And I've used them for a while. It, it's um, it's took in a beating. This one I've used before and it, uh, a friend of mine actually used it and it had uh, one of the legs pop out from one of the sockets here. And you, you know, sometimes you look in that, at that, you think, oh, it's broken. Well, they just popped it back in and it was fine. I'm like, oh. And I haven't had any trouble with it since then. So honestly, if they were to come apart, just pop it back in and you'd probably be fine. Um, yeah, but honestly, if you wanna go price range, look for this guy. If you wanna go for more of the look of this and everything else is it's practically the same, so. Basically, you're just looking for a different price range. Oh, and don't forget, if you want to see another video of showing the comparison between their different lines, the 3K, the 5K, and the SLR Zoom, please check out the video in the description below or in the end cards, one of these corners. You could check out those videos if you want. Thank you guys for watching. Please consider subscribing if you're not already and click that bell notification if you haven't already. And consider subscribing if you want to see more camera gear related videos and reviews about different camera gear things I've used and found and some of my creative videos. So yes, I'll see you guys around. Don't forget to go out there and create. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.